with the VR show, and I'm so excited today because we have Philip Ashley of Philip Ashley Chocolates. We are here in his. Do you call this a chocolate boutique? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> design studio. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are here in his design studio and boutique, and it is lovely in here. This is the Cooper Young area. Mm -hmm. It is. Too. It's so nice, and so you guys have to come by. Try some of his chocolates. As you can see, I consider these a piece of art. I almost would be afraid to eat them because they look so good. Yeah. And you are an award-winning chocolatier, correct? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Tell me first what is a chocolatier. So basically, <laughs> long and short, I'm a chef that specializes in working with chocolate. So okay. we make um, truffles, mm -hmm. things like that, um, using light milk, dark chocolate, primarily dark. Um, but yeah, so we. We work to take a bunch of different crazy ingredients and ideas and, and turn them into edible pieces of art. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And you, I know that you, I've read up a lot on it. So you said different ingredients because I know you use like anything from barbecue to bacon to champagne, bourbon, everything. So yeah. how do you come up with these masterpieces? So, well, one, just having uh, an imagination or a wild okay. imagination should help us, but uh, we basically just try to put us, you know, come up with things that I haven't seen or, you know, haven't seen in chocolate more specifically, right. uh, but that's awesome as well. Right. So, you know, we, we figured out ways to put parsnip in there, uh, things like pear and uh, vanilla to create a different type of flavor, because a lot of the things, and, and one of the, when I was studying you know, how to, or being a chocolate people more so about food and the ingredients and things like that. You know, all these different things kind of present in different ways. So when I'm using parsnip, I'm really more so using it for its anise flavor or licorice-like flavor. Um, it's just a cooler way, a more natural way of using it and not just using like anise seed or something like that. And then it just sounds cooler too because like right. I put parsnip in you know, so technically it's right. healthy for you. you right, know? exactly. Now, you have a lot of wonderful creations, but how many times do you have a creation that's like, uh-uh, oh, that is not going to work? We, we, I tell you, and, and a lot of this just came out of, you know, when I was you know, learning about chocolate and learning to make chocolate, you know, I had very little space, had very little um, to waste. Right. Um, so, uh, and just even growing up, I, I, I I've, I've always, in some way, lived inside my head. So, you know, I'll come up with, you know, formulas or different chocolates in my mind, and I'll work it out over and over. And, and as you do something, you know, a lot, you become an expert. You become it's just kind of a second nature. So I tend to start putting ingredients in my head and say, okay, this might not work. This might not work. But a lot of that was driven out of necessity um, to to not have to wait. So anyway, we we I try to. Execute with a low mar uh, error, <laughs> margin of error. So very rarely do we have something, if ever, that just you know is just terrible. Now we may tweak some things. Right. You know, this is a little off. We need a little more of that um, to balance out. Or, you know, so from so we do that you know uh, frequently uh, with new ones uh, just to make sure that we achieve the type of balance. So you know, I try to stay away from things that just. Oh, that's terrible. Right. Because um, people ask, well, have you thought about putting collard greens in chocolate? You know, I mean, it, 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 we explore a lot of interesting right. things, but some things you kind of understand from the beginning. Yeah, that's just not going to That's yeah, not going to work. That's not going to work. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Now, with doing that, that, now your background is in marketing, mm -hmm. but that's more so on like the chemistry where, you know, do you consider yourself a type of chemist? Come up with these I, I love science, and I mean, uh -huh. you know, and I'm 35 now. And mm -hmm. When I was growing up, a lot of kids had chemistry kits and things mm -hmm. like that. I wanted to blow up the things I wanted to in a good way. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you know, making volcanoes and rough and all that kind of stuff was always cool. So yeah, but also growing up around art, mm -hmm. uncles and artists, right. aunts and uncles are teachers, dad mm -hmm. a teacher. You know, so around history and art yeah. and crafts and you know, learn how to garden from my grandmother and mm -hmm. learn how to build things from the right. So all these things kind of right. you exactly. know, came together yeah. to yeah. what well, I can do. You say that they're so, they, you know, I've read reviews and everyone says they're delicious, but they're not just 
you know, a good taste, but they are also so yeah. pretty, sure. you know, so, you know, you have to have some type of artistry yeah. well, <laughs> behind it to do it. So. Well, I mean, people, and I learned this a long time ago, people are attracted to what they think. That is true. So, that is true. So, you know, whether it's shoes or dress mm -hmm. or, you know, a handbag or any of those things, jewelry, you know, all these things, right. people want it because, oh, this looks hot, this looks crazy, right. you know, this makes me feel good. And so we try to convey all those different messages um, in our chocolate. So we have things that look like gemstones. We have right. things that look like or have textile print, mm -hmm. you know, some architectural type influences and, right. and brilliant colors and all these different things that we're taking from, you know, the fashion world, the right. engineering world, and all these other areas to say, okay, you know, there's a lot of thought behind the chocolate mm -hmm. than just, okay, let's, you know, put a couple things in a piece of chocolate and push it. Right, exactly. Now, another thing that I like are the names sure. of some of the pieces. Like, let me take Wonder Woman, yeah. Ooey Kiwi, and Naughty Red Dress, yeah. I love. And of yeah. course, the pretty girl. Shout out to my school. How do you come up with some of the names of your pieces? Um, well, that's just it. A lot of, a lot of times, the ingredients okay. or something. For instance, you said you like Wonder Woman. Yeah. For the name reasons. Mm -hmm. And everything has a tie in, even okay. if it's indirect. But, mm -hmm. you know, we're using um, bean cherry and pomegranate, and those are super fruit. Right. Um, okay. And so, uh, and then I decided to paint it Wonder Woman's colors because mm -hmm. Wonder Woman's color. Right. But you know, mm -hmm. you don't tend to think of a man when you think right. of pomegranate and cherry. So I was like, okay, it's a woman, Wonder Woman. Right. But, um, but that's also some of the fashion industry influences too. Uh, you know, wines have names. Right. Um, particular clothing articles have names, or even jewelry for that matter. Shoes. Uh, once you design in particular names, each one of the pieces too. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's one of the things. And then too, one of the things we say, every chocolate tells a story. Right. So, you know, it has a background, it has a history, and most things that have that have names. Right, so, exactly. Okay, and I'm gonna ask you about another thing that you're doing this um, FedEx small business. Yeah. yeah. The grant. Yes. Now if you so win <laughs> if you win, you win twenty five thousand sure, dollars. Sure. What would you do with that money? Well, that's what we're going to uh, put together a chocolate bar, so to speak, oh, yeah. uh, and, and just have a really nice marble top stainless steel mm -hmm. bar where we you know, serve chocolates, parents with different uh, oh, things. Yeah. And things. So mm -hmm. we'll uh, do that, do sipping chocolates, for so and, okay. and so we'll just kind of take things to the next level, and then just increase, you know, production here is increasing, so right. add some mm -hmm. uh, needed. Right. But the main is just allow us to do more. Right. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So you guys have to go home. Yeah. And we are going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to head into the lab. Yeah, is that what you call it? The studio. <laughs> the studio. Is a lab too, so. <laughs> and see, you know, a little bit about how he makes these awesome creations. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back. The purpose of this PSA is to show you the image you may have of somebody who is HIV positive is probably wrong. You can be in a relationship with somebody who has HIV or AIDS, but you can't go into a situation blind. You have to know what you're working with up front. Get an HIV test so both partners can be safe. In this day and age, AIDS is no longer a death sentence. I wasn't supposed to live past the age of five. I'm now 27. So if you get a positive HIV result, talk to your healthcare provider about starting treatment. I'm Hydea, and I have AIDS. Please, get tested. Hello, this is your girl, Lajanae Cosby of ICanRepeatIt.com. Hey, I'm Ashana Renee from The Latest with VR. And we cordially invite you to the For Ladies, By Ladies Empowerment event. We've got Cynthia Daniels. Check. Brooke Thomas, Chick, Shayna World, Chick, and Ina Esco. Of course. When I say we have demonstrations, mix and mingle, and a wealth of knowledge for you all. So come join us as we relentlessly prepare for greatness. Bye. Bye.
with Philip Ashley from Philip Ashley Designer Chocolates. This is not just some, um, you know, take your kid to the candy store <laughs> type of thing we got going on here. So we are here trying to see how he mix the things together, all that good stuff. So tell us a little bit about you deserve it. Because sure. I know that's one of your taglines. Yes, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, and mainly it means that um, you know, we put a lot into making our chocolates and making them excellent and, and, and the whole you deserve it is kind of twofold one is you know from our perspective we put a lot of effort the finest ingredients the freshest ingredients the best chocolate we work to make it beautiful because we then understand that our customers and our clients are you know spending a good deal of money um, it, it's not an expensive it is a luxury chocolate uh, and, and they and you do deserve it and you deserve the best so it's like well treat yourself to the best and we'll always make sure that you know we keep that high caliber um, product so that's that's essentially what that yeah. means okay yeah. and of course every chocolate has yes. a story yes every chocolate should tell a story Absolutely. okay and so what you have going on here is this just the basic startup of it or do you have well, some things going on in this here here is, or? yeah this year okay. is a uh, tempering machine okay and so it, it tempers roughly uh, 20 pounds of chocolate okay. um, and, and you just heard that sound going mm -hmm. and it's rotating the chocolate okay. um, doing something called pre-crystallization um, which is basically melting the chocolate down mm -hmm. heating it up then uh, lowering the temperature then raising it back up so basically long and short how you get the shiny snap from chocolate this is where that process happens okay. um, so do you put all of your ingredients no, yeah, this yeah. is just chocolate. Just the basic chocolate. Yes, this okay. is all chocolate. So this is just, okay. you know, kind of our molding, okay. uh, if you will. Um, and so we do things like with uh, these polycarbonate molds for the truffles. Um, and we pour chocolate into these um, to create the shells and that sort of thing. And to do all the other cool effects. Um, and like I said, this, this chocolate here is nearing being ready. And it actually is. Um, but so it's just, this is this chocolate mm -hmm. and so that's been melted down. Okay. And how long does that have to melt down and turn and all uh, with that? With this machine it only takes about 20 minutes or oh, so. Okay. Um, because we have melters and everything else that okay. prepares the chocolate. Because the chocolate comes to me in little, in, uh, little coins okay. almost. Okay. And so um, we melt it down mm -hmm. and then we do our thing. Okay. Um, all the flavors and all the other things are in uh, something called ganache uh -huh. and we make the caramel centers and things. So that's the centerpiece. Okay. But this is the part that you see from the external or the visual. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah. But also goes into ganaches as well. But this is the base. This is kind of where it all starts in terms of okay. actual chocolate work. So are you the only one that does all of the creating or no. do you have a team of no. people now? Well, right? I have one person right okay. now. We're very efficient being, you know, prior to that it was just me and then I had a um, young chef who just graduated from culinary school, Jennifer come on board and you know, we were training her to do things like the airbrushing and the casting of the chocolate okay, and basically gotcha. the different steps involved. With, um, so real quick, I'll show you kind of what yes, you know, we create a shell. Just to, and now these the are great. little pink lines that are in there, is yes. that going to come off on the onto chocolate? Onto the chocolate, yes, oh, and that's okay. the painting. Sometimes we paint directly onto the chocolate, sometimes okay. we paint them all. Just kind of depends on what effect and what purpose you're serving at that moment. I mean, real quick, real fast, because mm -hmm. one of the things when chocolate is tempered, mm -hmm. uh, it will set. It's almost like cement, and, you know. It will set almost instantly. Uh, because also in here, the environment is 66 degrees, okay. so we have to keep it in a certain temperature to work with chocolate, keep the humidity down, um, relative humidity down. So, uh, and basically what I'm doing is just creating shells. Okay. Oh, so those are just the shells, that's not yeah. even, that's, yeah, just that's just one part of, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a process, so okay. I mean, even when we're painting, we're painting in layers. Mm -hmm. We're filling and then, or we're casting and we're filling. Right. What's the name of this one? 
this one is the charberry. This is a, this is for the raspberry chipotle, um, and this one is an all dark chocolate. Some have dark shells, some have white shells, just dark fillings. It just kind of depends. And then now I'm just making sure the mold is clean so everything comes out. And what's your biggest seller? Do you have a biggest seller? Um, I think you know we have some. It's kind of one of those things. We have some that are really popular. Mm -hmm. Uh, our probably our most popular really is um, called the Grizzness. It's that bacon caramel shortbread chocolate. Okay. Uh, yeah, since we made that one probably about early fall or late fall, okay. early winter last year. Now, is that your favorite though? Or uh, my favorite, favorite is a champagne chocolate called the Flute. Okay. And it's a champagne chocolate, it's a milk and dark chocolate blended in there. So we do a lot of things like, you know, we get certain wines that have blended grapes okay. for Nash and Syrah. And so we do some things like that too with chocolate. Um, it just helps with the body and the flavor and depends on it. So, but it's a champagne chocolate with a little broccoli in it. Okay. I have to have quick hands and chocolate. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, but no, so yeah, that, I mean, we have a variety. Okay. One of our most other really popular ones is called Key West. Okay. And that's a, my version of a key lime pie. Oh. Um, again, like I said, there's, there's some key lime chocolates out there. Mm -hmm. But what I notice is everyone's kind of doing, oh, we're putting lemon juice or right. excuse me, lime juice or lime zest in it. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the extent. I was like, well, I really like key lime pie. Right. Haven't seen a key lime chocolate out there. Mm -hmm. So that one in particular is two layers. Um, it's a white chocolate layer of mascarpone, key lime rum, mm -hmm. key lime juice. Mm -hmm. And then the second layer, no one ever really kind of represented the crust. And so we break down graham cracker and put it into milk chocolate. So, really? Yeah, yeah. This um, is, as you can see, this is, <laughs> they have a lot going on here. This is a real life, I feel like I'm in a chemistry lab or yes. something like this. Yes. Because this is just awesome. But I want to thank you so much awesome, awesome. for being on the show. Of course, I have to give you your time to shine. Okay. So tell everyone how they can reach you on your okay. social media outlets, all okay. that good stuff. Well, you can reach us at Philip Ashley Chocolates. Um, our location is 798 South Cooper, located in the heart of the Cooper Young District in Midtown Memphis, Tennessee. Online is www.philipashley.com. That's two L's in Philip. Uh, A S H L E Y dot com. Yeah, my name is Chef Philip Ashley Ricks, and. That's it. You good? All right. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the latest with VR show. Make sure you tune in again next week. Until right. next time, bye. I play hard. When I was a kid, playing professional basketball seemed like an impossible dream. There were the 10 mile runs, the hours spent in the gym, the conditioning the full court sprints, strength training, sweat, dedication. There was a dream to win a championship, but some things in life are more important than a ring, like my health. Diabetes and kidney disease might run in your family, but there are things you can do to help prevent it from happening to you. By eating right and exercising, you can rise above the rim keep your health in check. Join me in the fight against diabetes and kidney disease. Hello, this is your girl, Lajanae Cosby of ICanRepeatIt.com. Hey, I'm Ashana Renee from The Latest with VR. And we cordially invite you to the For Ladies, By Ladies Empowerment event. We've got Cynthia Daniels. Check. Brooke Thomas, Chick, Shayna World, Chick, and Ina Esco. Of course. When I say we have demonstrations, mix and mingle, and a wealth of knowledge for you all. So come join us as we relentlessly prepare for greatness. Bye. Bye.
I'm Bashana Renee, and this is another episode of The Latest Show. All right, we are back. Cameron Marks here. As you can see, he's got his baby. What do you just, your sex phone have a name? No, I haven't given him a name yet. No. <laughs> I, uh, I thought they were all supposed to have like a name like uh, B.B. King. I did something. that in the past, but for some reason, my other horns have names. but I have. Oh, that one that doesn't have a name. Right, kind of oh. the unknown sex. <laughs> We'll call it unknown then for now. But as you can see, he has his baby with him and he's going to play for us. But before that, tell me what's next for Cameron Ross. You've done so much already, but now what do you have coming up next? Well, next, um, I have a lot of private events coming up, okay. a lot of Christmas events, mm -hmm. um, just different holiday parties and things like that. Um, December 15th, I'm doing a jazz Christmas show in Nashville. Oh. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And good. then just riding the new year in. Okay, very good. Now, I always give my guests their time to shine. Tell everyone how they can reach you, how they can purchase your music. Purchase his music, he's good. Right. And, um, <laughs> you know, go to your website and your all your social media avenues, uh -huh. all that good stuff. Well, my website mm -hmm. is www.cameronrossmusic.com. Also, you can find me on Facebook under Cameron Ross Music. That's my fan page. Twitter is Cameron Ross Sex. That's Cameron Ross AX. <laughs> also, you can find me on Instagram under Cam Sex. And I have a Pinterest and other things that I just don't use. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you've got something there in your yes. hand. What is it? Because you can't play with this in your yes. hand. What is this? This you got? is my first CD that I just released <clears throat> last year called New Perspective. Yeah. And I would like to present it Thank to you. Thank you so much. And it's autographed and everything. Yes. So I can tell my grandbabies whenever I have some grandbabies. <laughs> like, look, Cameron Ross, you know, he's playing at, uh, what's the place in New York? The big uh, Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall. And I'm like, look, see, I always say I spoke it in case it's when you get there, it'll be all on me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. Cameron's going to play us out. But before we go, let me uh, shout out my sponsors. L3 Media videography photography they do it all oh december is coming up they're going to have pictures with santa every weekend so make sure you take the kitties out i'll post the information below so you can go and make sure you check them out any event that you're having fashion show birthday parties any type of party weddings you name it they will be there they're so professional they're great guys and you want to make sure you look them up. Also, Sobe's Wing Sauce. Thank you, Sobe. He is at all of the super low food stores in Memphis. Make sure you check him out. Also, Fashionably Lethal, my necklace. Thank you so much, Kimberly. She hooks me up. She always, you know, has me looking fly. So thank you for that. Um, I think that's it. Make sure you tune in to all of my social media networks. YouTube, of course, to check out my videos if you miss them on Comcast 31, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, you name it. I have it. Just make sure you reach out to me and I will at least attempt to reach back out to you. I'm, you know, pretty accessible. So make sure you do that. And thank you for watching another episode of the latest. And remember, it's always the latest with VR. And I am going to give it over to Cameron Ross. He's playing oh, Alicia Keys. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. I hope you do too. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>